guys, what's up? Morgan from Teachable here. If you haven't been following along, for the past few weeks I've been walking you all through my course creation process. So this is a pretty exciting week because this week we're creating our sales page. And I mean sales pages are super important because without them you can't sell your online course. So I've been looking forward to this since day one. Um, I'm super excited to share my tips and tricks for you, show you guys my sales page, and hear what you guys have to think and what you'll be doing with your page. So first off, sales pages are super important. It's not something just to throw together and not think about. Um, honestly, your sales page can make or break things for you. If you've got a really good sales page, people who are on the fence are going to be pushed over. Whereas if your sales page is just kind of like, meh, like here's what my course is, buy it. People who don't aren't totally convinced at this point are going to be like, okay, well, I can live without it. So nailing your sales page is super important. And that's what I want to help you guys do, because I want you all to have super successful launches. So we can kind of talk about what makes a good sales page and what makes a bad sales page. <laughs> the more negative side of that. Um, things you definitely should include. We can look at some examples of different sales pages and talk about what makes them great. So I guess I can just kind of dive into talking about what makes a good sales page now. So one big mistake I see course creators make is that their sales page isn't benefit driven for their audience at all. They're saying a lot of things like, I am showing you how to do this, I'll teach you how to do that, I made a worksheet on, you know, this or that. And with their audience though, they're just kind of like seeing the course creator talk a lot about what they did, but they're kind of thinking, you know, so what? What do I get out of this? So instead of saying, I did this, you should say, you're going to get this from taking my course. So for example, with my course on Instagram themes, I can say, you know, I'm going to show you how to make an Instagram theme. And my audience, they're going to be like, cool, like, why does that matter? Like, why do I want that? So instead, what I would say is, by taking this course, you're going to learn how to create a cohesive, you know, Instagram theme that's going to strengthen your brand and make you look more professional. Like, I'll probably polish it a little more than that, but that's just kind of like a quick contrast. Instead of saying, you know what, here's what I did for you, it's going to be like, here's what you're going to get from this course. If that makes any sense. You really want to make sure that your audience knows what the benefits are, because they might not know that, like for example, my audience might not know that an Instagram theme is something that they want to strengthen their business. But once they, you know, read my sales page, hopefully they're like, oh wow, I've never even thought about creating a theme. This is a new idea for me. I better take this course um, so I can get all these benefits mentioned on the sales page. Um, so yeah, you just want to be very benefit driven. And also, you want to catch their attention on your sales page from the start. You don't want to be like, oh, this is who I am. This is what I created, yada, yada, yada and not talk about your course until like a third of the way down your sales page because like on the internet people have such short attention spans and like you know that's true you probably have like 10 tabs open on your computer right now and if this video starts to bore you you're just gonna x out because there are millions of other things on the internet you can use to entertain you so you've got to like be kind of snappy and get their attention right from the beginning others they're just gonna leave and kind of forget so that means start talking about them and the benefits they'll get right away. Don't save it for the end. And your sales page is like the one place where it's okay to be salesy. It's a sales page, so it's kind of expected, you know. And I think a lot of people, they're afraid of being salesy, and that's kind of where they might fall short because they're not pushing hard enough. They don't have those call to actions. They're not asking their audience to buy or telling them that this is the course they need to solve their pain point. They're just kind of like, here's my course, and if you like it, buy it, please but it's not really convincing or salesy as it should be on a sales page. So catch their attention from the beginning, give them the benefits, and don't be afraid to be salesy because it is a sales page after all. Another thing is you want to create urgency, make them feel like they need to buy this now. Whether you're doing that from like just your words and the comp content and you're saying, you know what, you need to do this today, create a stronger brand for yourself, have a stronger business in a week, look more professional, get more customers, sell more of your product. Um, make it seem like if they do this today, they're going to have a very tangible benefit in the very near future. The sooner they do this, the sooner they're going to benefit, and you know, you need to reinforce that idea to them. And don't be afraid to do that. Say bye today, use those words, and create a call to action. Um, calls to action, if you don't know, are basically just telling people to do things, um, that's kind of as simple as it is. So you can say, click here to purchase, and that's a call to action. You're telling them to click here and purchase. It's not like, hey, maybe if you like me, you might want to purchase this, maybe. You're like being very blunt and like, do this now, you're not going to regret it, this is an awesome course, so purchase it. 
um, and have those calls to action throughout your sales page. Um, buy today, don't wait, uh, click to purchase like I said. Um, other things you can do to take your sales page to the next level that are optional but also awesome are, you know, testimonials are a big one. A lot of times your audience might still be kind of new to you. They're like, okay, who is this Morgan girl? Why should I trust her? Why should I buy from her? Is she like trying to scam me? Do I really need to know what she's teaching? And that's where testimonials come in. Maybe you want to let a few, three or four people take your course for free in exchange for a testimonial before it goes live. So they'll take your course and then write honest testimonials. If they got benefits, what their favorite parts were, how their business has changed since taking your course, or if it's not business related at all, you know, what skills they gained from their taking your course. And you add those testimonials into the sales page. Now, don't make up testimonials. That's very unethical. I don't know if it's illegal or not, but it's not nice. Don't do that. So I like, don't, yeah, just don't do that. Um, and also, if somebody's written a testimonial for you, for something else that's not necessarily for your course, you can include it, but don't say that they wrote it about your course. You can use it more as like a character testimonial and that person's testifying to either your skills or, you know, your competency as a teacher, things like that. Just make it clear. Be like, hey, I helped this person do XYZ. They haven't taken this course, but this is what they have to say about me and what I have to offer. And that's still going to help kind of rest, put your um, audiences worries at ease because they'll be like, okay, like somebody else has worked with them, they got good results, they trust them, you know, I'll trust them too. Another good thing to do for your sales page is add a little video, just like a quick little hey, saying who you are and that you're excited to work with them and it's just going to put your face in front of them and kind of connect a face and a person behind all of those words on your sales page. And creating that personal connection is going to make people trust you more, just like the testimonials. And they might, you know, be like, okay, wow, this person seems really cool. I'm connecting with this video. I trust that now I'm going to buy. Um, and of course, that's optional too, but I think it's just like a little something extra that makes a big difference. Now, here is a really important thing to establish trust, and that's offering a money-back guarantee. And I know so many people have reservations about that because, you know, it's on the internet. You're not sending them a product that they can give back to you. As soon as they have it, for all you know, they've downloaded and saved everything within the first five minutes, and now they're requesting a refund. But we found that, like, the people who request refunds, that rate is incredibly low. Very few people ever request a refund, even though most of our instructors have that like 100% money back guarantee. And a lot of our instructors, what they'll do is be like, yeah, you can get a refund if you've proven to me that you've actually, you know, gone through this course, implemented it, and it didn't work for you. You can't just have a refund after, you know, three hours you decided that it wasn't going to be a good fit, even though you didn't look at, you know, 90% of the content. So that's a good thing, like, if you're still a little, like, skeptical about offering the money-back guarantee. Personally, I am doing like I think probably a 30-day money-back guarantee just because I know that people are nervous about spending money online, especially for something that isn't tangible, and I'd really like to give them that ease of mind that like, hey, if this doesn't work for you, we're cool, it's fine. Personally, for my sales page, I am going to be talking a bit about why I'm an authority because I don't have, you know, hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers. I've got, you know, several thousand, but I still have significantly more than, or significantly less than a lot of other bloggers. So people might look at me and be like, what's your authority? And while I don't have, you know, like I said, hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers, I do have what I'd like to say is a very pretty and cohesive theme. And I'll probably put screenshots of my, you know, feed back I don't know, a year and a half ago before I cared about how it all looked together compared to now and just kind of showing how much more professional it looks, how it looks polished, how everything's kind of on brand. And I can talk about some of the different, you know, companies I've worked with as a result of my Instagram feed being beautiful and be like, hey, you know, you don't have to have 25,000 followers to work with a big name company like XYZ. They just want somebody who's going to, you know, post beautiful pictures and get engagement. And with a beautiful theme, you've got both of those covered. Um, things like that. You just want some to establish trust and prove that you know what you're talking about. So now we are going to kind of look at a few of the awesome sales page some of Teachable's course instructors have created. I just invested in Camtasia, so no more like shaky pointing at my computer videos. 
which is much needed and I'm sorry about those last ones. And so yeah, let's just like go take a look and see what these people have done right because trust me when I say that these course creators are incredible. Their sales pages are just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we can go look now. So the first sales page I wanted to show you guys is this Make Fabulous Cakes Buttercream Flowers Quest. And it's super on brand because in the background you've got fabulous buttercream flowers. So that's awesome. Enroll in class for $49. There we've got a call to action already. And then here, learn how to make fabulous buttercream flowers. Benefit driven language. You're going to learn how to confidently pipe delicate buttercream flowers. Awesome. Um, love the visual aspects that she has images throughout her sales page. I think it really strengthens people's desire to buy the course because they're going to see that and be like, so pretty, I want to be able to do that. Here's probably my favorite part. She really breaks down the lessons. In lesson one, you're going to learn how to make buttercream. In lesson two, you're going to learn how to frost a cake. And then here's the best part. Lesson three, four, and five, you're actually going to work on projects. So you'll make a flower cupcake bouquet, a flower wreath cake, and a flower gift box cake, which is super cool. And the best part, actually, is here are the finished projects that you're going to learn how to make. That's that's just awesome. I love that she did that because now people know exactly what they're going to learn and see exactly what to strive for. Another great one is this 30 day hair detox one. Background image, super on brand. It's got beautiful hair and I'm guessing the people who want to take this course want beautiful hair. So they did great there. And then you scroll down and they've got kind of the relatable story. It's like your kitchen sink probably looks like the natural hair aisle in Target. Um, You've tried all these products and they're not working for you because you haven't been using our methods. We're going to teach you how to care for, treat well, and love your real hair. So that's kind of what you're getting. Third and final one has a different vibe. It's a lot more, I guess, clean lines and less imagery, but still very beautiful and powerful for what they're trying to accomplish. And, you know, you've got the purple logo up in the left-hand corner and more purple throughout the sales page. Looks beautiful, looks awesome. Um, very benefit-driven language here. Become the Angular JS master. I think we all want to become a master in whatever it is that interests us, so that's very cool. Um, this co course is going to give you skills, um, so you can be a professional Angular JS developer. That's very powerful if that's what somebody wants to do, and this course is going to teach them. It's probably a lot cheaper than going to college for those skills. Um, they've got their class curriculum here, and um, look at some of them have free previews, which is super cool, so people can get to know his teaching style, all of that. Meet the instructor, he is, you know, a developer, a JavaScript engineer, and Google developer expert. There are his credentials, trust him, and get started now, call to action. Cool. So here we've got a little look at my sales page. It still needs some tweaking. Background image is going to be changed. This one's too busy, but you know, what are you going to do? I've got my branded logo up in the upper left hand corner. Title of my course, Insta Aesthetic. I think I'll change this to all caps. And then very benefit driven language here. Strengthen your brand with a clean and cohesive Instagram theme. Everyone wants a stronger brand. So here we've got the little relatable story and like, hey, you know, I feel you. You've worked so hard to set your business up but you're not getting the results you want, let me help you out. Um, you can change your visual strategy and create an Instagram theme so you can grow your account, strengthen your brand, and get your foot in the metaphorical Instagram door. Um, after taking Insta Aesthetic, you're going to learn what Instagram themes are, and you'll be able to create your own. And that way you can strengthen your brand, passively grow your following, and make your account look polished and professional. And I've got this kind of... A visual cue, like this is what my feed looked like before. I was implementing my tips and here's what it looks like after. So I think that kind of helps people get an idea of the progress they can make. An introduction to, you know, me, <laughs> hey. And then FAQs, I kept these basically the same except added one and tweaked the language a little bit to make it sound more like me. Then I don't have my pricing or CTA yet because I'm not ready for this to go live quite yet. So, from your main Teachable site, mindsmorgantim.teachable.com, you'll go to admin. The internet's so slow. <laughs> Courses, and then go to the course you want if you've got more than one. I've got a few that never made it to fruitation. <laughs> so then you just click your sales page and here you are. Um, the header image, super easy to change. You can just, you know, 
even just choose from any one of our oh here's a kitten like we've got this one preloaded so you can add any image that you would like to your sales page um and then you can change the overlay on how bright you want it then here we've got copy you can add your course description add any images you'd like um, i recommend folding things italicizing things making things a little have a more of a visual pop and then if you want to add a testimonial um, for you just can fill it in there insert new block if you wanted to add anything else like you know an enroll button just randomly in the middle of it so cool your author bio here's your course curriculum faq coupon if you want it closing letter which i also probably should add to mine and your enroll button all right so there we have it um that is kind of all I have to say about sales pages. Of course, read the attached blog post. It's going to go way more into depth. It's going to really elaborate on the things I mentioned. I might have a few extra tips and tricks there too. You never know. So go check it out. It's linked below this video, as are the um, sales pages that we looked at earlier. So go check them out. If any of them caught your eye and you think you need to take that course, definitely buy because these courses are so good. You won't regret that either. Um, but yeah, as always, you can tweet me um, at HelloMorgan10, at Teachable. If you have any questions, comments, you want to share your progress with me, that would make me so happy if I saw that you guys were like following along and had progress to share. So yeah, um, tweet me. Uh, you can also leave comments. I'll be looking there too. And I hope you guys are all having a great week. Good luck creating your sales pages. I can't wait to see how you've done. And I'll be back next week. Bye.